Hi everyone. So I've been looking at some fans for sale um through the internet. And I just came up with another idea, a poor man invention with the concept of it having heater, heaters like a stove. So when a user turns on the fan, it will also be able to heat up the blades. <clears throat> as an ex as an example, um, because you know they're coming up with like new fans and stuff. Sorry, I had some toothpaste in my mouth. Anyway, so they they have some new fans for sale and they're compatible with the internet assistant uh, internet assister whatever it might be because there's different competitions out there, right? But basically it's internet it has the internet assister one it has retractable blades, the ceiling blades. And then I seen one, a few of them with an embedded Bluetooth speaker. And you can control it with your cell phone. So you don't even need a remote. And then I just thought about the heater thing. So if it's cold, well, the way I was doing it at my friend's house, it got super cold. I just turned on my hair blower because I bought a hair blower to comb my hair back or to spike it up. And then I would use the blower to get it to get all hard and stiff right but one day it was super cold that in inside of my room it was super cold in there that i turned on the hair blower to warm up the inside of my blankets and eventually the room got you know somewhat warm so this is another idea. I mean, it's already connected to the, to the electricity. Right? Um, so, and, and it can probably even turn cold, but I'm not sure about that. And a lot of people want a silent fan. Well, the way to do that is to keep the engine in the attic and have an extended, the pole, having the pole extended downwards just so the pole will be visible inside of the ceiling. It's that simple. So when it rotates, the, I mean, it could have an outer tube. And, you know, an outer cylinder that can be sealed with silicone 
inside of the bedroom or living room, wherever you want this fan, presumably. And once you want, once you connect the ceiling blades and the light itself, the lights, it will basically go into that shaft to the ceiling inside the attic so that in itself will be up there because that's what people are complaining about i i because someone claimed there was a fan company that claimed that their fans were silent and then i seen the review it was like a one star review or two star review and they, they were like, I thought the fan was going to be silent. I gave it a, a star, five star review. Well, I attempted to, but for some reason, the internet didn't allow me to submit my review uh, through Walmart. So I uploaded that review on my Facebook page. But I gave it a five star review based on the design itself. I think it looks super badass. If I may say so myself. Um, but the, the whole thing here is investing in the future. For future generations. For ourselves. And to inspire people. Encourage people to want to do good in life. And for them to appreciate the things that they have. You know? Things like that. So. I was thinking, yeah, I could buy. I mean, because I could just leave this fan here. Either way, it, it works as, as it is intended to work. Now, I can be picky. Because, like, I could start bitching because it doesn't really look nice or has character to it. Like, a lot of character and a lot of style and class. Although some people might disagree. But my point is that I personally would like to invest into the future um, even if that's buying a new modeled fan ceiling fan especially if it's compatible with smartphones that's super cool because my brother has one and he's able to control it with his with his cell phone and I've even seen one where there's a, they made it where we can interact, the users can interact with the color wheel. So you can choose from almost millions of different colors to, you know, to light up your room, your bedroom. Um, so that, I think that's super cool. Uh, oh yeah, and then I didn't just give it a good, a five star review because of the design itself as well. I gave it a, well, it was because of that, a huge reason why, but also because none of the nuts and screws are visible whatsoever. Like, look at, take a look at this fan, this ceiling fan. Right here. Look at that. It's all wobbly. You know, I seen I see, I've actually seen some of these where they're like this. 
like down like upwards like that like a cover like that and then bugs go in there they go around the light bulbs and then they die and then and then it's like a tray and then you have to clean out the tray because bugs are in there mosquitoes it's so annoying so it's fully capped off you know the one that I gave a five star review to it's fully capped off so I mean they really thought that thing through it's like you know you purchasing a you know ugly looking airplane comparatively to a jet and that's exactly how these fans look they're clean they're like air dynamics like jets like you know jets are so smooth so professional looking and when you look at this it just looks like shit it looks like crap you know so I, I'm i just looking for a fan right now with the Bluetooth speaker because I figure if I'm going to purchase a fan now, I might as well invest in something good. And if I could be in my room and listen to music, then that would be great with my fan, you know, the Bluetooth speaker. That would be super, super cool. Um, so yeah, like, that's what I'm planning on doing myself personally. But I seen, I think it was arrows. It was arrows on one of the fans because they say, Point it downwards, the blades, point the, point the, make it go clockwise in summer and counterclockwise in winter. So there was some orange red arrows pointing downwards and then blue ones pointing upwards. So that's where I got the idea from hot and cold. So it gave me the idea to talk about adding heatable blades so when the air i mean when the when the blades are spinning and the air has contact with the blades it will basically heat up the room and if if it's possible we can make it where it's cold as well um, but it was just an idea. I mean, I'm not sure if it's a good idea or not. Um, but since there's a lot of competition out there, I just thought that this idea would be a great one to implement. Because we're talking about the best of the best. If we can add everything in one thing, the better. And we just never know the next step after that unless we take these steps, you know, because it's going to inspire other people, believe me. I mean, whoever thought about that Bluetooth speaker is pretty smart. Oh, as a matter of fact, I did upload a, I did upload a video talking about fans, ceiling fans. And I, I thought about adding a fire detector on it as well. Because most of these fire detectors, the smoke detectors, they have to be kept charged with a battery. But if the fan's already hot wired, with the 
electricity from the home, then my the thing might as well be connected to the ceiling fan because it will always have a source of power without the possibility of the smoke detector ever going dead, you know, that's for more like places where there is no electricity, you know, like, like we have here in the city, like a direct power line. Okay. So that's just what I'm thinking. And since everyone's just playing around with this and having fun, you know, I just figured that, like, why not? Why not add these extra features into it? Um, and oh, <clears throat> I also seen, I seen, these little lights that go on a bicycle. You know where the air tube is at? Like this thing here. Because my brother had left his bike here. These things. Well, I just seen some little lights that people were selling. And basically you connect it to that. And when it's spinning... When the wheel is spinning, well, I seen it for vehicles that someone was advertising it for vehicles. So when the tire is spinning so fast, it looks like one ring of lights, like one ring, like one ring light. It doesn't look like just that one little light thing. It looks like a continual ring of light. So. Even that could be added to the fan, to the ceiling fan, that or the whole, because look, it costs a lot, it, it, it would probably cost a lot of money to power the whole ceiling fan with lights, but if it, if it, if it only takes or requires one little LED, and then once it spins super fast, if it makes it appear like the whole thing is lit up, then just to save and conserve energy, then it's best just to go with uh, the small little LED idea as well. So yeah. Um, anyway, I'm going to continue back to my shopping through my smartphone uh, at Walmart. And, um, I'm, hopefully I can find the ceiling fan that I, that I want. And, um, yeah, this is just an idea. Um, you know, because a lot of people are into, like, the vehicles. You know, when I, when I first seen, when I first seen that, that adjuster for different climates, different temperatures in a vehicle. I was like, what the hell is the whole point? But, you know, it's basically do what you want and do, and, you know, people are, people are going to do whatever they want and whatever makes them feel comfortable. Right. So if if I'm super cold in my bedroom, but everyone else is hot and everyone else would prefer to have the the AC running when I want my room to be warm for whatever reason, then I'll be able to do that in my own bedroom. So it's climate control for my own bedroom. So you guys can sell it. This, this concept, this idea. Like that.
you know, you control the temperature in your bedroom or something like that. Or control the temperature with the click of a button. Control the temperature with your smartphone. Something like that. That could be a bullet point. That could be a selling point. That could be... You know, something that a lot of people will like, honestly, especially with the smart, with the blue, with the Bluetooth speaker. I think that's super cool, like listening to music. Um, especially like for some of you who have, um, like some of you give a room to your babies. So, if it has a Bluetooth speaker, you guys don't, you guys won't have to spend money on one of those little speakers with the little, you know, sounds, the music, the piano, or whatever it might be. You guys will be able to select the music from your phone or whatever, any device, and then synchronize it to the Blue, Bluetooth speaker on the ceiling fan and just have that going. And I mean, if I could have a, a room, a room control, um, room control, room control, clim climate control, room, a, a climate control setting. So that would be even better, actually, because, yeah, that would be great. Because now you'll be able to keep your bedroom at one temperature, just like the AC unit. When people, like, oh, I was watching a movie. I remember now. I was watching this movie. It was a family. It was a Christmas movie. And... The family got together, but the little girl wanted the, the house to be warm. I think. And everyone else wanted it to be cold. So she came out, little girl, cute little girl, you know, very admirable. Everyone liked her. And she's very popular in the movie industry, Hollywood and all that. And um, so she came out and she would change the temperature. And then someone else would come out, change the temperature again. And then she would come out and she would change the temperature again. And then eventually they were like, wait a minute, what's going on here? Like, this is too much crap going on. So they, they, they had to like dispute it out. Um, you know, so I, for, I forget like everything else after that, but I mean, I hope you guys get my point. See what I'm talking about? So, it's not about the money. It's about comfort. So, I mean, my room right now is perfect temperature. It's a perfect temp I don't feel hot. I don't feel cold. I feel just perfect. And if AI... Was able to, or is able to, you know, keep, keep a record of my body temperature with a smartwatch. Then, you know, this is a smart pill watch. And I upgraded, I actually upgraded my watch as well. I had one of those old, outdated watches 
that are not even smart. So I got rid of it. I got rid of it before I even purchased this one. That way I, I wouldn't forget. And that way I, I would be motivated towards buying a smartwatch. Because I got so accustomed to having my regular watch. But I got the thought, you know what, I need to get rid of it. So I could buy myself a smartwatch. So if my smartwatch can somehow synchronize with my... Well, it's already synchronized to the cell phone. But if my cell phone, my smartphone, can synchronize... And communicate with a fan. Or something like that. Then that would be great too. As well. And then if there's more than two people. In a bedroom. Then AI can figure out. The best possible. Temperature. For both liking. For for the both parties to like. Or say there's five people. Then AI will select the options that are most selected in a party of five or whatever. Okay? So this is more AI futuristic type of thinking. With different possibilities. That probably haven't even happened yet for whatever reason. But that's coming. All this is coming. So anyways, just wanted to like get this out of my mind before it starts messing with my mind and I start stressing out and overthinking stuff or overthinking like all this because if I overthink it, I mean, who knows what else I would think of and I'm not trying to hurt myself here. I'm just, all I was doing was searching for a fan. <laughs>